It's your boy Laid back now. Shout out to Hulam ENT. Laid! <laughs> Right. Cool. All right, so tell me, like, how was it even growing up, like, in the environment before the music even, like, came into the picture? Yeah, man. Oh, I ain't had no daddy in my life, so I had a mama who was just trying to have bread to take care of the building, basically, like, anything else, and they wanted, like, shoes, anything like that, and they had to get out there and grind for their self. So that shit was hard. It was harder than the other kids who had a father and a daddy in their life who can be able to do certain shit, you know? Yeah. Mm. So, even with being in that environment and things that nature, so then what led to the music? God bless the dead, my cousin Monk. Right. He from Water Zile, we been to the boot camp with my cousin named Anthony Hamilton with Zay and all them and shit. <laughs> he bust the first rhyme and I fell in love with that shit. I been like, man, that shit might gotta be for a nigga. Mm. Really? So, even when you first started even taking it serious, I want to say, or oh, what even made you start taking it serious? Was this from initially you started taking it serious? I mean, taking it serious, I can find I always loved reading and writing. I always, that was my favorite subject. So what really made me taking it serious was when I seen a lot of motherfuckers who can't rap, got down and get in the, got in the studio and can make a million dollars off of some bullshit. I been like, man, I might well got to start playing with this shit and take it more serious than what I am. Cause I usually do freestyling and shit like that. I ain't really used to write, so I take mm. it more serious now. Yeah. So then what made you want to start writing then as far as, even with the freestyle, like? I feel like I can got down, come more from the heart when I write. You feel me? When I'm freestyling, that shit is coming from the head. I really don't know what I'm, what might come out my mouth next. So I feel like it's more feeling and everything involved when I write. Hmm. Yeah. So even when you even start to put the music out there, like what even motivated you to even want to put the music out there? And how was the initial response when you start putting it out there? What made me want to start putting it out there was friends and family being like, "Why you hard? You need to stop playing. You can blow this and that." So I'm like, man. At first, I'm like, yeah, they, just, they probably say that to anybody. They really ain't fucking with me like that. They ain't trying to buy a nigga's music or none of that if I put it for a dollar or none of that. But I've been like, shit, I just started loving myself, really, and I, I motivated myself, and I just say, fuck what anybody else feel like and just post my shit myself. So rather I get 10 views or 100,000 views, I'm still gonna be the same person. I just wanna, I'm doing this shit for my family, really. Real. And how they feel anyway right now? With they, the music. Shit, they happy, they love it. They want me to keep going. I'm mm. different than the other Savannah people. Like, they talk about killing and shooting all the time. I tell my story. I just tell the regular life people live. Mm. So, who would you say your music more so caters to, if you had to say, since it's not all about murdering 24 7, like how you said? Shit, anybody or any, any ordinary person. Somebody wake up, could be a nerd, can be a guy, or somebody who's going through the struggle, somebody going through relationship problems. Somebody might be going through a situation that they got, um, they might be hanging around certain people and they get involved in certain shit that they don't really want to get involved, but they have no choice but to get involved. I just got multiple categories from. I can come any way with it. Versatile, I like it. So, even right now, what you doing the music, since you haven't like got to where you want to be at the moment, what you doing the music, is it hard balancing that and your personal life at the moment? Yeah, it is hard when you ain't got no team. No. You ain't got no team behind you, it kind of slows everything down, but I'm motivated and determined, so I ain't letting nothing stop me. Rather it take another year from now or anything, I ain't letting nothing stop me. Yeah, no time. Only way is up. Yeah. So, even walk me through as far as what's your process when you like making your music in the way, like, is it always just it comes to you in the studio or it can come to you even like right now? Or? Like, I ain't gonna lie, that, that sneak attack and the other songs I made, I was at the car wash when I made them shit. So I was busy scrubbing, got them spraying cars and everything like that with headphones in my ear. So that shit just came like that. But I just sit and just be thinking, like, I, just, I don't even be knowing, man. I might write a verse before a hook. And it changed that shit, the shit just come to me. Mm, good. So, what would you say you even like the most about doing the music so far? Being myself, because I don't vent to nobody about my problems or anything like that. So, when I'm doing music, I'm like talking to myself, but at the same time, the world can hear me afterwards, so I'm venting. Mm. 
that one makes me feel better about doing it. It makes me want to keep doing music because they're waiting for me to vent. Gotcha on that one. I like that. All right, so <laughs> Ray, I'm like, yeah, he's yeah, he talking to himself. Yeah. All right. Look. They call me late, man, because learning yeah, out the ignorant that decisions. Shit. That's why they call me that. That's mm. what I go by. Gotcha. Yeah, that was nice like that. So how did that even come about? Like, even the acronym, who made the acronym At up first, here? I came up with laid back knots. So I always be on the laid back side. Call myself knots, because when I'm rapping, I'm knocking sense in your head. Like, it's as if somebody knocking on the door. They got your attention, you wanna know more, you wanna know who the hell that is, whatever like that. Like me, I live back now. Everybody call me Lay for short. I Rick Ross and them guy on in the background when you go hard or whatever like that. I had laid. I'm be like, shit, what the folks ask me what that mean? So I actually sit and think about what I can make that mean and learning not the ignorant decisions. Anybody can go with that. If you can't then you stagnant. You can't be around me. Yeah. So I wanna say even when you reveal that to certain people that you are a rapper or things of that nature, or do they already expect you to be a rapper from it, like your appearance? Most folks be thinking like, yeah, he got goals in his mouth, he look like he a rapper, he look like he ain't this, he ain't that, but I just do it me. I really don't care what nobody say right now. Real. I'm, I'm like in my it. own world. Yeah. So even too, like how would you even describe your sound if you had to, like even like a word or a phrase? Original. Yeah. And, well, since you say original, I want to say, like, what do you feel like your music has that other artists don't have in their music or it's missing or? They don't have the good and the bad times. They might talk about drugs. They might talk about how they got rich, this and that, but they don't talk about the consequences they could have went through. They could they ain't talk about the people they lost in that process. You know what I'm saying? Um, the money they lost by getting locked up and things like that. They don't talk about that. They just glorify the good all the time. They don't tell you about the bad, so they got folks thinking drugs good to sell, but they don't tell you about the shit that can happen and can change your life within the next one second of you or the police pulling up behind you or anything like that. People don't talk about that, so I want to talk about the good, I want to talk about the bad. I just want to express how I feel as a person. Yeah, I barely listen to, uh, to, to famous rappers. I like to listen to me or local rappers or people who are within my community. They keep me away from all the bullshit and uh, trying to steal anybody's flows, anything like that. That just keep me in my own vibe, own lane.